Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Sweaty Zeus coming to you with another episode in the walkthrough of Elden Ring. We are currently at Crumbling Beast's Grave, and we just got to Farumazula. Now, I didn't cover this in the last one, but before we get too far, I should mention the Curved, Man, curved Beast Man Sword is going to drop from these beasts in this area. So if you do want that, be sure to farm it off these guys. Did we get it? This is going to be very awkward because I was playing Neo a little bit. <laughs> and the controls are definitely very different. Sanctuary Stone. seem to hit too hard out of this weapon. I might try a different Astral War. I mean, it's it's fine, but I was getting a uh, consistent like 2700 out of uh, a couple of the straight swords. Let's try one more time. There's also going to be a shield up ahead a little bit that you can farm off of the beastmen. And the shield, um, I don't know that it's all that great. Just as a, you know, a normal combat shield. There it is. But, it's very good against uh, holy and lightning. So I put on some new armor. This is better defensively against lightning. You might want to do that. Actually has better negation than that really nice hat I found. So we need a few more row of fruit. Wow, the easiest one to find. Here's the beast man sword. So that's it. There's a few beast man items we can farm here. But we're about to fight a giant dragon. Oh, do I have enough to upgrade? Actually, I'm going to queue fast forward effect. I'm going to kill these guys so that I can level up before we go where we're about to die.
Alright. So get your uh, ashes ready and they're going to drop down. No! Ah, too late. That one was fast. Smithing eight? I'm thinking they're... no? Oh yeah. Let's go back and get these.
All right. So here's the jar shield they have, if you want to get that. Seven. You can drop down here if you want. I think you can get on top. Come here, buddy. No! <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying not to sniffle. <laughs> gotta really watch out for the priest ones like that one they'll hit you with lightning from distance they're not that strong though they just do a lot of damage so go range them down and then take on the others great glove work drop down over here So we're going to go over this way. I guess we're not going to get a shield drop. phone was ringing so this area is actually pretty big even though it doesn't look it on the map um, this where's that coming from oh it's those guys down there I guess but uh, this elevator down will take you down to, there's a bunch of those puke guys here. And uh, there's like a little, that over there you can hop over to, you can fight a dragon on it. I don't know that there's really even a um, reward, but I'll go look here in a little bit. The hero's rune. 
Then we're going to go back in the middle. We're going to get our next bell bearing. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of these guys in here. If you go around the outsides, you can kind of sneak up on a few of them. Oops. There we go. Get rid of the priest. There's Ancient Dragon's Prayer Book. It gives a couple new, couple new spells. Really like this sword. It'll do bleed, and uh, if you infuse it. Obviously, you can do cold, so cold and bleed together is obviously a gnarly combination. So this leads us out into the middle. There's a brace right here, and uh, we'll get the uh, bell bearing, which is right here. Somberstone Minor Bell Bearing Four. So now we'll be able to get. Uh, the next couple levels for our somber stone. I'm gonna run back real quick, uh, turn that in, and upgrade a few things. Uh, if you hadn't ba been back here yet since turning the. Uh, uh, or lighting the tree on fire the uh, place will be on fire now so it's just visual but Rodrigo will actually move over back to by the fireplace so alright so now we've got seven and eights so we can take anything up to eight I can't remember there's something I wanted to upgrade here so probably Moonvale but we're already at 8 there I think it was maybe yeah this death ritual spear fun to play around with that a little bit so like uh usually do we'll check here we need a 1 we need a 3 we uh you know, one and eight, that's it. See, Roderico will be over here now. He'll have new uh, dialogue your first time in here. Need a plus 10 too. Ooh, this poker sounds fun too. Has an 8 frost build up. Like it's move set. I think it does good at staggering too. Death ritual. A crystal spear I didn't realize was somber. That's cool. I've never messed with it, so.
All right, well, I'm going to hop off here and make the decision. I can't decide real quick. I was going to just go right back and film it, but I'll cut it while I'm thinking. So I'll see you all in a minute. What's up, boys and girls? We're back here at uh, Muriel, and we're going to turn in our ancient dragon prayer book. So... Am I crazy? Oh, we have to give it to him first. Oh, very well. Heresy is all things. Oh, heresy, all things. Alright, so new would be this ancient dragon lightning spear. And this one too, I think. This one you leap up and throw a spear down, and this one brings it up to the floor, you know, all around a wide area around you, AOE. So those are there if you want to look at them. I leveled up the spear and the uh, family heads, so I'm going to play around with both. This, you can't change the Ash of War. I thought you could, but you literally can't, so that sucks. But I'm still going to give it a shot since I already leveled it up. So, so we're going to hop down some uh, rocks over here. We're almost to Alexander. He'll actually be... There he is right there, right above us. Right above our head. And then we'll get his, um, final, uh, part of his quest. And then we'll actually get a really good talisman from him, so. I just feel like I can walk in these every time. If you remember, we actually came here earlier, and we were up on that platform. Fought a couple guys and dropped down. We came here with the four belfries. <laughs> I swear there was something in this thing or behind it, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, well, don't forget to hit their bodies. These guys are basically just skeletons. Somber 7. Not as exciting as before, but still nice. There we go, Golden Rune 9. So now, just like before, we're going to jump off the side here. It's going to be a little different. Head on this thing. You can try to take this dude out here if you want. 
I don't know that we'll... Oh, I've got this. <laughs> He's just gonna respawn though. Oh, sweet! I hit his bones! <laughs> nice! Be careful in this thing. Easy to fall off. Gonna run off. Now we need to get up top. I think we have to come back a little later. I don't know if we can get up there now. This guy's gonna turn around right when I get to him. Oh, I got a look. Damn. Go be definitely sure to hit the hat. <laughs> Dude's tough. Or we can get around back here, but I don't remember how. We're at the next grace already. There we go, there's the nine. I knew there was one around here. At least I get his Dragon Slayer's Axe from Dark Souls 3. Um, I don't think you can farm it. I've tried, but... So we can drop down there. So here's our Grace. And then we're going to go head on to a tough boss fight, I think. Actually, it's tough on the way to the boss fight, too. Um, this one's tough because they didn't put a, uh, spawn location on it. You have to fight back from the grace every time, which can be kind of... Huh? I would have a summon definitely ready for this one. You'll see when we get there. This area's kind of cool. It's one of my favorites. I think we gotta jump down... I don't remember, but we'll just go that way and see. There. I forgot about that. <laughs> you know, the family heads might actually do better with these guys because of strike damage. Instead of pierce. <laughs> go over the bridge there, buddy. I think we can get our um, summon ashes here for the beast man. So a running jump here. And then up a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> 
There we go. Oh, that's a great glove. Or great grave glove work. I think it's... Is it up another level? Back on the floor level. And then we can drop down here. Item here. Tin room. I think I like this. Scales of Ant and Dex. Oh, this is I came back the wrong way. Okay. I don't think we can drop down that far. I wonder if we can drop onto that. I've never tried. Oh, okay. Maybe this is how you get to the boss here. <laughs> Watch out for these guys. They are weak to strike. Just stay moving. Time your rolls. There we go. Eat shit. Rune arc, yeah. Yes.
No! <laughs> that worked out okay. Sweet. So this is actually a better route to them. So there's the beast man ashes to the boss. Um, normally, if you're up top, you gotta fight through a lot more of those knights. Nice, another nine. <laughs> Alright, so here's our grace. And then the boss will be right through there. And it is going to be two um, Godskin Apostles. Or Godskin Apostle and Godskin Noble. And they'll keep respawning um, until you kill both. Or their health runs out. Or actually just till their health runs out. They'll die and then respawn. Uh, so you're really going to need... Uh, some good ashes here. Damn, I should have leveled up Tish. Okay, Mimic's at 10. I'm gonna actually use that. This, this is a hard one, like, so... I don't wanna screw around with it. And... Episode is about out of time, so... Hope we get a... One time work. So there's a um, old dude from the beginning of the game that sold us Ashes of War and also was in Volcano Manor. Alright, so run to the back of the room when you get in here. What's going on? Why aren't they there? No! Now they'll respawn, like I said. Hit him, hit him, hit him. <laughs> it's funny when they walk into the, uh, Gotcha. Got um two hundred sixty five thousand runes and the fourth. Smithing stone, miners, bell bearing, and black flame tornado. We will hit the save, and that will be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna level up my character. Only t one level. <laughs>
with 304,000 runes. Um, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.